Welcome to this video showcasing the LlamaParse test workflow. This workflow provides an easy way to test LlamaParse's capabilities, specifically regarding tables and charts. It allows users to upload a document, select parsing options and retrieve the parsed content in either text or markdown format. Let's go through the workflow step by step. We start with the Google Drive folder creation node. This node initializes a folder named Llama Parse Test in Google Drive. This folder will store the parsed results. Next, we have the form submission trigger. This is where users input their document details and select parsing options. Let's go over all available options in detail. Users can select the PDF document they want to parse from Google Drive. The document name must match the exact file name stored in Google Drive. Users have several parsing options. The parse page without LLM does not use AI models for parsing. It simply extracts a layered text from the document without any further processing. Markdown formatting is not available in this mode, so the output must be handled as text. In the parse page with LLM, first, a layered text is extracted. Then, it is processed by a large language model to reconstruct the page structure. The output is provided in markdown format. The parse document with LLM is similar to the previous mode, but instead of processing a single page, it parses the entire document at once. This improves coherence especially for headings and multi-page tables. Using the parse page with LVM mode, each page of the document is screenshot and a large vision model is used to reconstruct the content. Finally, the parse page with agent mode is the most accurate mode. It combines layered text extraction and screenshot analysis using an agentic process to reconstruct the document. Selecting the continuous mode true, instead of splitting content page by page, this mode merges all pages into one output, preserving the flow of tables and long form content. Using the target pages option, users can specify which pages of the document they want to parse. This allows for selective processing improving efficiency and reducing processing time. Normally, each spreadsheet sheet is extracted as one table, enabling the extract subtables from spreadsheets. Llama Parse will detect multiple tables within a sheet and separate them. If the output tables as HTML mode is enabled, tables inside markdown documents will be formatted as HTML tables, improving merged cell handling. If the preserve layout alignment across pages is true, the text mode will attempt to maintain text alignment across pages. This is useful for documents with continuous tables or alignment spanning multiple pages. Users have several options to provide prompts that further improve or modify the results. The user prompt parameter allows users to modify or transform extracted content according to their specific needs. With the system prompt append, instead of overriding the default formatting, Users can provide custom formatting rules while preserving the markdown output. The system prompt overrides default system settings, allowing different output formats beyond markdown. Be careful, as modifying this can affect the accuracy of parsed results. Once the form is submitted, the workflow proceeds with these steps. Find and download the document from Google Drive. Upload the document to Llama Parse API along with the selected parameters. Monitor the document parsing status using a waiting mechanism. Retrieve and process the parse document from Llama Parse. Convert the result to a file and upload it back to Google Drive. If the parse page without LLM mode is used, the workflow handles the output as text. If Markdown is available, the workflow formats the document as HTML. Finally, the HTML content is served via a webhook, making it accessible in a web browser. Processing time may vary depending on document complexity. In some cases, the waiting mechanism in the workflow may not be enough. If the document is still not available in the workflow, users can check their Llama Cloud account where all processed documents are stored. For users running an 8N on a home server with Nginx, 
be aware that the timeout settings might need adjustment. Long-running API requests could result in an HTTP 504 gateway timeout error. Increasing the timeout setting should resolve this issue. A test document is available in the GitHub repository. Simple charts such as scatter plots, line charts, bar charts, pi, and donut charts are extracted reasonably well into tables. However, more complex charts may only be partially extracted or not at all. Basic tables are generally parsed accurately, while multi-index tables are trickier and may require post-processing. The results for 3D charts are mixed, following similar trends as 2D charts. Regarding AI model performance, using a more advanced model generally leads to better results. By default, this workflow utilizes OpenAI GPT-40, the standard model for LAMA pars. However, users have the flexibility to switch to other models, use their own API key to access different AI vendors for cost optimization. The pricing is generous, and individuals can take advantage of Llama Parse's free daily credits. For more information, visit the Llama Parse website and documentation. I hope this video has been informative. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.